Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rans and in this video, we'll be going over the dual up monitor from LG. We'll be discussing some of its features, pros and cons, and lastly, if this monitor is for you. So let's get right into it. So just a brief background, I've been using this monitor for the past three months as a full-time digital creator. My work mainly consists of photo and video editing, so I spend a lot of time in my office working. I'm always trying to find ways to improve my productivity, so when LG gave me an opportunity to try out this monitor, I was super excited to test it out. My main monitor that I use is the LG 32 inch ultra fine display. It has pretty decent space, but when I'm editing videos, I find myself wanting a second monitor for script or research notes. So the dual up monitor came at the perfect time. So at the time of making this video, the LG dual up monitor is priced at $699. In the box, you get all of the cables that you need, like your manuals, USB-C cables, HDMI cable, DC extension cable, and your power adapter. What makes this a standout monitor is that this is part of LG's Ergo line, so it also includes the Ergo monitor arm. The Ergo stand is pretty sturdy and clamps easily to a desk or a table. Once I had the stand secured to my desk, the monitor snaps into place. Fortunately, the LG Dual Up is extremely lightweight, so handling it and setting it up isn't too bad. After you connect everything, the cables can be fed through the stationary part of the arm and hidden behind a snap-on cover. This is a nice touch to help with cable management. I absolutely love the Ergo Stand. I also have it for my main monitor and it's a really solid monitor arm. It's well built and I love how you can adjust the height and tilt of your monitor. This could honestly be sold separately at a premium cost, so the fact that it's included is really nice. Now the monitor has a ton of ports in the back for you to use. It comes with two HDMI ports, a display port, two USB-A ports, a headphone jack, and a USB-C port, which provides 90 watts of power delivery. So this works perfectly for any laptop for that one cable connection setup. The LG Dual Up is a 27.6 inch display with a unique 2560 by 2880 resolution. It has a 60 hertz refresh rate and a five millisecond fast response time with a contrast listed at 1000 to one. In addition, this monitor supports extended gamut coverage, HDR10, and a maximum 300 peak brightness. There's one single button at the bottom of the monitor to access its settings. In the settings, you can change the input source, adjust picture modes, or individual settings like brightness, contrast, and sharpness. The monitor also comes with speakers. Here's a sound test of how the dual up monitor speakers sound. So now that we discussed some of its specs and features of this monitor, here's some of the things that I absolutely love about the Dual Up. First of all, I like its unique 16 by 18 aspect ratio. It's equivalent of having two 21.5 inch displays stacked on top of each other. This means you can stack two windows vertically without having to resize the windows. It's actually really good for multitasking and not in a side by side way that ultra wide monitors provide. For example, I can have my script for a YouTube video up top and on the bottom could be my research notes or inspiration for the video. Since it's a vertical aspect ratio, it's really nice for reading or going through emails or just casually browsing the web. The second thing I love about this monitor is its versatility. I use this specifically as a second monitor, but you can definitely use this as a main monitor. For my use case, editing videos is such a treat in combination with my 32 inch ultra fine display. For short form video creation, I usually have my timeline on my main monitor and on the dual up, I have the video that I'm editing. It's super cool. Vice versa, if I'm editing a traditional 16 by nine video, I have my timeline on the dual up and the video on my main monitor. Its versatility is one of the reasons why I've been way more productive since I can customize it to fit my workflow. And if you think about it, it's almost like having a three monitor setup since you can have two windows stacked plus your main monitor on the dual up. Another cool feature that I like is its picture by picture feature allowing two different inputs. So for example, I can have my PS5 and my laptop hooked up for that business casual vibe. You know what I mean? Business up top, casual relax on the bottom. And surprisingly, playing games on the dual up is actually pretty cool. It's not a gaming monitor by any means, but it's not bad and it's just a nice feature to have. And lastly, photo editing has been awesome on the dual up. It's such a treat to see your photos in such a unique way. Vertical photos are great to edit and there's so much room for activities. So many activities! But yeah, it's a treat to use. And again, just having these features help with my workflow and allow me to enjoy doing work. So before we get into what I didn't like about the dual up, let's go ahead and talk about the sponsor of this video, NordPass. By far, one of the worst feelings to go through is getting hacked. 
It's a lot of work to try to get all your accounts back because your passwords have been compromised. And we've all been there using passwords like one, two, three, four, five, six for everything, but we know that that's an easy way for hackers to gain access to your personal and financial information. This is where NordPass comes in. NordPass is a zero knowledge password manager, which means that no one else but you can see what's in your encrypted vault. It helps you store all your passwords in one place so you don't need to memorize them. It even auto generates secure passwords for you and allows you to secure your credit card and personal details. There's a variety of advanced security features like a data breach scanner to find out if your online account or credit card info has been leaked. And here's what's cool. You can get an exclusive NordPass deal with an additional one month for free by visiting nordpass.com slash or click the link below to check it out. Big thank you again to NordPass for sponsoring this portion of the video. So here are some of the things that I didn't like about the dual up monitor. First is the scaling issue. So the default resolution is 2560 by 2880. But in my experience, the text in that resolution is way too small. I find myself having to reduce it to 2048 by 2304, but when I do that, the text now becomes fuzzy and not as clear. Now this isn't a huge deal breaker for me since this is my secondary monitor, but if you are going to use this as your main monitor, this is definitely something to consider. Another thing is color accuracy. I had to dial in my settings to match my MacBook. This is extremely important since a lot of my work revolves around video and photos. Having accurate colors is essential, but after tweaking it a bit, I was able to match the colors pretty well. But I highly recommend whenever you're exporting your photos or videos, just to double check, check your MacBook, check the colors to see if everything is good. Having said all that, I think this monitor is fantastic. It has added so much to my workspace. I think this monitor is perfect for coders, photo and video editors like myself, or anyone needing a tall aspect ratio for their work. Designers and web developers I think will have a lot of fun with this monitor since the aspect ratio fits that type of work perfectly. If you're a gamer, it's also pretty good, but I still prefer a wider field of view like my 32 inch ultra fine display. It's also a great secondary monitor that's easy to position and offers versatility for different configurations. I also think it's priced correctly at $699 since you don't have to worry about a monitor arm, which can be a hassle to think about. But having that ergo stand included is a huge win in my books. But overall, it's a great experience using this monitor, so I highly recommend checking it out. So that just about wraps up this review of the Dual Up monitor from LG. But I'm curious to know, what do you guys think of this monitor? Are you guys looking to get this as your main monitor or secondary monitor? Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this one, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. But thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.